Flip phones have been out of fashion for years now, many years, but they could soon make a comeback. And in a big way, Samsung unveiled this new Galaxy smartphone you're about to see, and they say there's a good reason that it costs $1,800. Jamie Tucker takes a look at a new Samsung device unlike any other. In a world where every smartphone looks like a smartphone, here comes something completely different. The newly announced Samsung Z Fold 3 5G. The Galaxy Fold is at the first foldable phone. It's the third Samsung phone originally released two years ago. Samsung seems to have ironed out one of the biggest criticisms of the first fold. It didn't actually fold flat enough, and the screen itself needed improvement. And you can see when you close it, uh, there's actually a space there where it folds up. So it, it's actually going completely flat, um, and you're not seeing that as you open it back up. The screen looks amazing, even when opened as a 7.3-inch tablet. Closed, it's more narrow than most smartphones. Easily fits in your pocket. Okay, we get it. It's a tablet that folds into a phone, a phone that folds out to a tablet. The coolest thing about the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is watching video. You're watching an actual documentary. Here's what we call our hero image. But check this out. I can actually switch between multiple different camera angles. Verizon's Steve Van Dittner told me Samsung is working with studios to offer shows and live events with multiple angles. So imagine watching a football game or concert like this. You're the camera person, you're the producer, you choose what you want to watch, right? So if I want to zoom in on one of the, the singers on stage, I can do that. Still, there's that price tag, $1,500 to almost $2,000, depending on storage space. Like some of you when they heard foldable phones, kind of thought gimmick. I don't think that anymore, especially for people who travel a lot and they don't want to carry all of those devices around. The new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is really the best of both worlds. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Wow, if you got the money, that could be really nice. Looks like they've worked those bugs out.